In this video I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily apply an object style or actually several object styles to a number of different objects within a document. Let's say you've got um, a publication like for example here we've got yellow pages and we've got three different types of objects we're using. We've got a main heading, a subheading, well it's the same type of object, different content and we've also got display ads which are graphics. And what we want to do is make them look more interesting. So, as an example, for the main headings, we've set up an object style called classification heading. And if I click on that, you'll see that it changes the way that heading looks, so it's much more interesting. And obviously we can do the same with our subheading and with our graphic boxes, our display ads. So these have a nice blue border with a nice drop shadow. And let's have a quick look at our object style to see how they work. So display ad. What you can do with an object style is you can choose all the options for formatting that particular object. So we've given it a drop shadow for example and we've given it a border which is um, four points wide. Okay and it's blue. Now you can go through and manually apply the object style to each object one by one which is okay if it's not a big document but if you've got a big document like uh, our yellow pages for example which could be hundreds of pages that could be not only tedious but also quite error prone you could easily mistakenly choose the wrong object style that's why we've written this script so here's our apply object style script to run it simply double click on it in the scripts panel and that opens a dialog here so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change all the headings to classification heading and we're going to change the inline images to the display ad, ad style. Just click on OK and the script is running. Oh, yeah, it's done already. And now we can see all our main headings have had the style applied to them and all our display ads have had the appropriate style applied to them. Looks much better. So now we can run it again to apply a, another style to all the subheadings. So we'll just select that. So now we're doing subheadings and we're going to apply the classification subheading object style. We don't need to do the images anymore so we'll just select no style for those. Okay and there we go. Now all our objects are beautifully styled. It looks much better than it did before we applied the object styles. Now I know what you're thinking. You're wondering how does it know which object style to apply to which objects? The answer is that we tell it which paragraph style the object is sitting in. So as an example if I select the paragraph that the display ads are sitting in, this display ad, you can see that it's sitting in a paragraph that's styled with the inline image paragraph style. So when I run my script we choose the paragraph style which is inline image and then we tell it which object style to apply to any image boxes that it finds within that style or within that paragraph which is display ad. So that's how it knows which styles, which object styles to apply to which objects. Now this kind of script is perfect to use with a database publishing application such as Catbase for example. Let's have a quick demonstration. I'll switch to Catbase and I'm going to publish my yellow pages from the database so now you see Catbase is producing a text file that has all the information for the Yellow Pages document along with the formatting tags that it needs. You'll see how that all works in just a moment. What I'll do is delete everything from this document and then I will re-import that file and I'm using a plugin called Xtags to import that file. So it's that one there. And as it's being imported into InDesign it's automatically doing all the formatting, um, creating the text boxes and the picture boxes and filling them with the ads and the headings. So as you can see it looks exactly the same as our original document. And then I'll just, um, oh let's have a look at the styles first of all. So we can see that for example we told Catbase to set each of the display ads into the paragraph style uh, called inline image for example and for example um, here's a subheading and that's been set in the paragraph style called subheading. So then we'll just run our script again like we did before. We'll do headings, 
headings and our images. Away we go. There you go. So that shows you how well it can work with a database published solution like CatBase. And in other videos, we'll show you how to set these options up in CatBase. You can find more information about this and our other InDesign scripts on our website at www.catbase.com forward slash products and there you can download a free trial version of the script and find out more information about CatBase and the scripts themselves.